from the studios of Farm Journal Broadcast. This is U.S. Farm Report. Welcome to U.S. Farm Report this weekend. I'm Ty Morgan, and here's what's in store over the next 60 minutes. The secret to flipping your soil. Cover crops and no-till have been branded wrong. Cutting it close. I think that the grain sector um, would really have struggled uh, if, the, if the strike took place. On the verge of a potential rail strike, Congress steps in. Tensions in China come to a head this week. You hear a lot about these COVID lockdowns, right? And zero COVID policy, but we're gonna see record beef imports this year. But could it alter U.S. meat's soaring export pace? And in John's world. China may be heading for trouble. Well, now for the news happening right now. The countdown is on for Congress, which is facing two big deadlines. The first to prevent a nationwide rail strike and also avoid a government shutdown. And the effort to avert the freight strike was successful with the president signing the bill on Friday. The bill to avoid the strike won approval Thursday, clearing the Senate in a bipartisan vote. The bill will bind rail companies and workers to a proposed settlement that was reached between the rail companies and union leaders back in September. That settlement was rejected by four of the 12 unions involved, creating the possibility of a strike. The Senate came one day after the House of voting to impose the agreement. Ex-Secretary Tom Vilsack thanking Congress for taking action, saying a rail shutdown would have significant and long-lasting effects on American food and agriculture and would have been devastating to the economy. I think that the grain sector um, would really have struggled uh, if the if the strike took place. Um, obviously, that would have impacted basis levels here uh, in the country as uh, as grain would back up in the system. Um, probably had the potential to shift some export sales uh, to other places in the world. It's estimated a strike would cost the U.S. economy two billion dollars a day in lost gross domestic product. <laughs> <laughs> 